What's up, guys? Um, as you can see here, I have a measuring tape. And often you hear guys, you know, talk about the size of their arms. I got 20 inch arms, I got 30 inch legs or whatever, waist size. And um, sometimes it's ego stuff, and sometimes we exaggerate. Bodyboards exaggerate a lot of things. We exaggerate our weight or all kinds of stuff. Some of us do, not, not me, of course, but. Um, measurements can be an important thing. The scale, I always think, is the worst metric because there's so many variables, you know, in scale weight, you know. I mean, as you can imagine, uh, body fat percentage, all that goes into play there. So, but tape measurements are pretty good um, to measure muscle gain, like, you know, measure your arm size. I mean, if your arms were, you know, 16 inches last year, solid muscle, not fat, and you gained an inch of lean muscle on your arms in a year or half inch, you know, that's something you can hang your hat on. That's a goal, right? That could be a goal or an accomplishment, whatever. So measurements can be important chest, you know, and also you can measure your waist, how much fat have you lost, how much reduction have you got in your waistline, things like that. So measurements can be important for kind of gauging progress besides just your lifts and how much weight you're lifting and all of these things. So I bought this on Amazon. It's a pretty cool thing. You can see that there. Uh, what it does is it has a pre, it has pre um, measured two inches here on this curve here. And then what you do is you kind of guesstimate what you think your measurement might be. So I'm gonna go with, let's do 18 and a half. This is 18 and a half I've measured out. And then you just put it in this little notch here and it clicks into place and you got a solid measurement. So then you just take it and pull it up your arm now I haven't done arms today, so these are cold measurements, but, and you can see right there, I'm about 18 and a half, which is, you know, not bad for unpumped. So that's 18 and a half. And that's pretty much in the middle. I could be, don't want to cheat it here, but there you go. 18 and a half inches on that arm right there. And that's about right for me, a cold measurement, 18 and a half. Then when they're pumped, they're 19. So of course I'm gonna claim I have 19 inch arms because 19, they're, they're pumped at 19 inches. I always measure, everybody wants to measure their arms when they're pumped. When you come out of the gym after doing arms, you measure them, boom, you got that huge pump going on. That's the best time to do your measurements. But all kidding aside, you wanna do your measurements either pumped or cold, but not don't mix them up. So if you're measuring your arm once every three months, let's say, make sure you use the same uh, method that you did the first time pumped or unpumped. If you measure it pumped one day, one month, and then unpumped the next, you're probably gonna see a change, right? So um, just to let you know about that. But anyway, this thing is, I mean, these are on Amazon. You can just go with uh, body measurement tapes and type it in. There's all kinds of different ones. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. It was like $6, literally. And you can see it's got the measure on there. So it's pretty cool. But anyway, thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, so my arms are 18 and a half inches. Um, unpumped there, which uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll take that. Um, I don't really get too crazy about measurements. I don't like my legs and my waist and chest. I don't know. I don't measure my chest often, but once in a while, it's kind of fun to do it and say, oh, wow, I used to be 52. Now I'm 54. I used to be 54. Now I'm 52. But have you lost weight? Are you dieting? Are you, are you cutting? So that can all, when I'm bulking, I'm going to have bigger measurements than when I'm cut, obviously. But my lean mass is going to be greater than my bulking mass, right? So, you know, you got to take all that into account, what your body weight's at, what your body fat percentage is at. Now, body fat percentages are a little tricky because, uh, <clears throat> They have these caliper tests they do, and you have to have someone really skilled with those to get an accurate measurement, and they're not, they're pretty accurate, but they're not the best. Um, I've, I've had cal caliper measurements done. The important thing to do with that is have someone that's highly trained in doing it, that knows exactly what they're doing to do those tests to get you an accurate body fat count. The most accurate body fat measurement is the submersive method, where they submerge you in water, submerge you, I hope I'm saying that right. Submerge you in water and they do a displacement or something. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I have no idea, but you can Google it. Um, body fat testing. And I do think they put you in a tank and they actually, you hold your breath, I think, and they submerge you in this tank. And then it that's like the most accurate measurement there was. At least it was a few years back. So if you're really interested in your body fat, you can look into those. I've had my body fat checked once when I was doing a show many years, 20 some years ago with the calipers and it had me at 2%, which is not correct. Nobody's at 2% body fat. 
most guys on the body weight stage are between probably four and six percent i'm guessing you know right around there two percent is just i mean that's crazy you know i don't know anyone that's ever been two percent but so i know it wasn't accurate so i was probably more around five or six percent four percent and in the off season most guys are probably walking around 10 12 percent body fat i'm gonna say you know roughly that's where i'm at now so um anyway good metrics to test your weight scale weight measurements and also body fat tests calipers or the submergen if you have another method to do this uh leave your comments below please down below um, if you've ever used that submersion method, and I don't know the name of it, I'm sorry, I don't know the technical name. I'm sure there's a technical name for that. I cannot think of it off the top of my head. Uh, and also the caliper test is just the caliper test, I know. But leave a comment below if you've done any of those or um, you're interested in doing any or you know someone that does them that's very good. You might have a link for them and people can uh, contact them. Anyway, guys, you have a good day and hope this uh, little tape measure shed some light on how to do some simple measurements. Later.